Welcome to StockGPTChat.com. In this video, I'm going to give you a demo of our tool that uses probability to bring clarity to the stock market. With this tool, you're going to be able to make sense of the risk and reward for any given stock purely based on probability calculation with zero emotional bias coming into play. Our approach with this tool was to look at historical data to explore the likelihood of future price movements across different timelines. For example, how a stock is likely to perform in a day, a week, a month, and a year later. So without further ado, let's just jump into the demo. So for this example, we're going to be looking at the S&P 500 or its ETF SPY. The data for SPY goes back 31 years. We start analyzing SPY on January 29th of 1993, and then we analyze it every single day up till the very latest when this video is being recorded, which is September 16th of 2024. You'll be able to see the data for every single day in this section, and you could jump to different pages by navigating here. Next, in this section, you're gonna be able to find all key data points. First, you'll be able to see the all-time percentage change in the stock. So this stock went from $43.94, and that number is adjusted for all stock splits, and currently, or as of September 16th of 2024, it's trading for $562.84, which means that this stock has grown by 1,181%. The number of total days this was analyzed, you can find that here, the largest drawdown this stock has observed, as well as the largest one-day percentage increase in the stock, as well as decrease. You'll be able to see the number of days it closed higher and lower. You'll see that number in percentages, as well as the average daily percentage gain on up days, as well as average daily percentage loss on its down days. The number of days that the stock was unchanged is also found here. And you could also see the number of days that the stock closed up or down at least a certain percentage. So the way it reads is 0.10 on this side means that this is the number of days that the stock was at least up 0.10%. Now that you have an overview of all the data points, we could calculate the probabilities. We did that by analyzing this stock's RSI as well as its drawdown over the entire 31 years of history. And so for SPY on September 16, 2024, it closed at $562.84, which means that day it was up 0.15%. Its relative strength index on this day was 59.59, and its drawdown from its all-time high was negative 0.41%. From this information, to be able to calculate probabilities, we have to find similar instances of this happening in the past. So over 31 years, we found 202 instances where similar price action as well as relative index has happened. And so from this, we calculated that 91 out of 202 times, which is 45.05% of the time, the SPY closed lower the next day with an average loss of 0.47%. 111 out of 202 times or 54.95% of the time, the SPY closed higher the next day with an average gain of 0.42%. Now, looking at the next day probability, this may not look like much because it's 45 versus 55% for the upside. But when you look at this on a one-year timeline, so if you jump down to SPY for one-year probability, you start seeing a much different picture. So 159 out of 187 times, or 85.03% of the time, the SPY closed higher a year later with an average gain of 14.10% versus 28 out of 187 time or 14.97% of the time, the SPY closed lower a year later. So this becomes very helpful in understanding your risk based on your different investment time horizon. You could look at the same data for a seven day out probability as well as a 30 day out probability. And for a detailed view on each of these different days probability, there is different pages that we have. So you could jump to the next day probability. It breaks the next day probability out in much greater detail. You could do the same thing for a seven day probability look, a 30 day probability look, and a one year probability time horizon. And there you have it. This was example for SPY, but you will find this type of analysis for every single stock. This is by far the most revolutionary way of analyzing the stock market or any particular stock because it gives you a sense of what it's likely to happen based on what's happened in the past. In this way, you could make sense of the risk and the reward for yourself. This is by far the most objective stock analysis tool on the internet. So hope you enjoy. 